करोना वैरस पै पोराटो प्रभुत् प्रणा का प्रकार मुझे पोत मंत्री के एला विपत्क परस्ति वा एने प्रभुत् सिद्ध राष्ट्र पाजिट वेबई मंद काधि पन्े मंद को अट तुम लक्षल मंद की पैगा वलस कूली राष्ट्र में उ वारी योगक्षेम प्रभुत् चूस अला वारे हईदराबाद नूट डेबई की पैगा शिबरा एर्पट्टा अट ढी मतपरम प्रार्थन पागो वारी विवरा सेक मंत्री के चार where telangana in fact was hailed as a state which has been very proactive and which has been engaging uh, in this war on covid very effectively our strategy has been very simple and very direct in fact the first leg is containment and lock through lockdown second effort has been on curative when uh, you know somebody has been identified as a positive uh, corona patient we have tried to ensure maximum uh, you know uh, uh, facilities and ensure that adequate attention was given as a result out of the 70 odd people that have been positively identified as corona positive about 12 people have been cured and now have tested subsequently negative and the third and most important aspect is taking care of the vulnerable section in the society we've been by and large very successful with, with respect to that as well but with uh, you know the new development that has come to uh, the light yesterday with this nizamuddin congregation of course we are concerned and we are doing our best in terms of identifying exactly the number of people from telangana who have attended this congregation and also doing a 360 on them to see who all they have come in contact with over the last few days we we are working on it it's a work in progress we'll not be able to share an absolute number with you right now but we are most working very very seriously and very very diligently on this across telangana there are 9 lakh plus migrant workers and we've been able to establish in the city of hyderabad alone 170 plus camps where they've been asked to stay put after providing them essential you know food supplies and essential medicines and sanitation equipment and also subsequently we are monitoring them we are doing constant patrolling and we are ensuring that none of them actually have to migrate but you have to understand the you know the the mindset of a migrant worker this fear psychosis that has gripped them you know this uh, belief that you know whoever contracts corona is is going to die and is it is going to be fatal in fact has led them to believe that i want to breathe my last in my village in my native place and therefore they are all migrating it's not only for lack of essentials but government of telangana has also been very proactive in dispelling this myth communicating to them effectively that the fatality is only 2% and there need not be such a big concern on this so far we've been very successful with respect to containment of migrant worker movement but there is some minor migration here and there we have enough equipment we are adequately prepared to face a challenge as our honorable chief minister pointed out in fact we have also taken a phased uh, strategy in the initial first phase government sector alone would be able to take up uh, thousands of uh, patients and then the second phase would be where we will also be engaging with the private sector the personal protection equipment that is needed for all the medical personnel the masks the n95 masks that are required for people who are engaged in this activity and also ventilators as you pointed out we have ensured that in tandem with the private sector we have enough of them uh, uh, to tackle a situation we have also reached out to drdo to the private sector to basically to basically ensure that uh, there is no dearth of equipment in the next few weeks to come we are very confident that uh, whatever be the eventuality we will be able to face it as and when it pops up in fact uh, he just got the good news that 12 people who are prior positive have tested negative so therefore uh, he was optimistic he was exuding confidence that all the people since uh, international travel has been suspended since the 22nd of march and since all the quarantine home quarantine of these international travelers would end on the 6th he had said that optimistically since there is no local spread we would hopefully see a covid free state by the 7th of april but in light of the new developments of uh, uh, you know what happened in nizamuddin as you pointed out there may be you know a, a slight change but hopefully with all the efforts that the government has been making we'll still be able to make sure our state is covid free